Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Solving Problems in My Farm. My name is Carla Garcia, Horta America's Technical Service, and stay for this video because we're going to learn about the use of supplemental lighting inside of greenhouses for cannabis production. As you probably know, the cannabis production sector is facing some economic challenges. For this, it's very important as a grower to understand the efficiency of the systems. We need to learn about light efficiency, we need to learn about the water use efficiency of our crops. And for cannabis, we know that supplemental lighting inside of greenhouses is good. I mean, we already know that this crop loves light and we can en enhance uh, photosynthesis by providing more light to our plants. However, when we provide more photons of light, of course, we will have a response in our plants for different aspects. So it's very important to analyze how supplemental lighting can have a good effect in photosynthesis, but also to see which other aspects can be affected. So in this case, we're going to speak about the water use efficiency, which I think is really important also to uh, investigate how the plant is responding to high light intensity in terms of the water requirements. But wait a second, let's interrupt this video in order to explain what is water use efficiency. Water use efficiency is a measure of how effectively a plant converts the water it takes up into dry matter such as biomass. So there are two important components in order to calculate water use efficiency. One is photosynthesis, which is the process where plants convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into glucose, and transpiration, which is the loss of water vapor from plants. So in this case, for this research, the leaf water use efficiency was calculated as the ratio between photosynthesis and transpiration. Now we can go back to the video. This research was directed by Dr. Ricardo Hernandez from the North Carolina State University. And in this video, we're going to learn about the objectives, the results, and the conclusions from this research. The main objective of this research was to assess the effects of supplemental lighting on cannabis during the vegetative phase. For this research, they made different treatments providing supplemental lighting with the light fixtures from Puerto Maricas in order to check uh, the gas exchange capacity on the plant. So the treatments were uh, supplemental lighting from 150, 300, 500 and 700 micromoles per square meter per second. So four different treatments. This is supplemental lighting and they obviously have also sunlight. So in this case, the total DLI in the greenhouse for the different treatments were 19.9, uh, 29.8 and uh, 51 DLI. This was made during the vegetative phase of development, so in this case, the photo period was of 18 hours photo period. The results got that if we provide more light, we will have more growth. So the biomass was higher, the leaf area was higher, and the branching was also higher, which is good. Good results for supplemental lighting, ideal for propagation, for example. Uh, but the interesting part of this research was to see what was going on with the water use efficiency of the plant. The results for water use efficiency were really interesting. So they found that more light will also increase the water use efficiency on the plant. So they found actually that the water requirement from the plant was reduced when increasing the DLI even when using 51 as DLI. So from this research, we can learn that cannabis is a plant that is adapted to high light intensities. They prove that photosynthesis can be increased by providing supplemental lighting. This is something that we already know, but they also prove that the water use efficiency is also increased, meaning that the plant can uh, tolerate high intensity and still work really nice in terms of the water requirements. So in this case, we can prove that high light intensity is not going to affect the water requirement of the plant. So now all the people working in plant nurseries or flower production or even doing research can know that providing supplemental lighting can enhance photosynthesis, can increase yield, and can also increase the water use efficiency of this plant. 
If you are interested in learning more about this topic, I totally recommend you to look for the full article. The name of the article is Supplemental Greenhouse Lighting Increase the Water Use Efficiency, Crop Growth and Cutting Production in Cannabis Sativa. Remember, this article was conducted at the North Carolina State University, directed by Dr. Ricardo Hernandez and also Kristen Colardo and Seung J. Wang. So look for the full article if you want to learn more. I will leave a link on the description. And if you want to learn more, also subscribe so you can continue watching our videos about control environment agriculture. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service. See you on the next video.